continuity. Let us learn the concept of continuity with the help of two examples. Consider the function f of x is equal to 1 for all the x values less than or equal to 0 and f of x is equal to 2 for x greater than 0. From the definition, it is clear that the function f of x is defined at every point of the real line. Now, let us sketch the graph of the given function. For all the x values less than 0, the graph of the given function is a straight line parallel to x axis at a distance of 1 unit from the origin. And when x is equal to 0, f of x is equal to 1. For all the x values greater than 0, the graph is a straight line parallel to x axis at a distance of 2 units from the origin. From the graph, we can observe that at the point near and to the left of 0, that is at points like minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.001 etc., the value of the function is 1. Similarly, at the points near to the right of 0, that is, at points like 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, etc., the value of the function is 2. That is, the left hand limit of the function f at 0 is 1, and the right hand limit of the function f at 0 is 2, and the value of the function at 0 is 1. We observe that the left and right hand limits do not coincide and the value of the function at x is equal to 0 coincides with the left hand limit. Without lifting pen from the plane of the paper, we cannot draw the graph of this function. That is, we need to lift the pen when we come to 0 from left. We can say the given function is not continuous at x is equal to 0. Now, Consider another example. The function f of x is equal to 1 if x is not equal to 0 and the function f of x is equal to 2 for x is equal to 0. Now, this function is also defined at every point of the real line. Left and the right hand limit at x is equal to 0 are both equal to 1. But the value of the function at x is equal to 0 equals to 2. It does not coincide with the common value of the left and right hand limit. For this graph also, we note that we cannot draw the graph of the function without lifting the pen. This is another example of a function being not continuous at x is equal to 0. Now, let us give the definition for the continuous function. A function is continuous at x is equal to c if the function is defined at x is equal to c and if the value of the function at x is equal to c equals the limit of the function at x is equal to c. If f is not continuous at c, we say f is discontinuous at c and c is called a point of discontinuity of f. 